Once upon a time, in a land full of light and happiness, there lived a beautiful queen who loved her kingdom. Through her kind-hearted magic, she brought joy to the realm where her people prospered. One day, a young prince came to the castle, and the queen became infatuated with his kindness and charm. The two spent countless hours together, and the queen began to fall deeply in love with the prince. She was determined to become his bride. So, one evening, as the queen strolled through town with the prince by her side, she confessed her love. As she waited with bated breath for his response, the prince's expression changed to one of sorrow. He could not give her what she wanted, for he declared he loved another, a young peasant girl from the queen's realm, whom he intended to marry upon bringing her back to his home. With a soft kiss on her cheek, he left the queen to be with his true love. The queen grew livid as her heart filled with fury. In her rage, she cursed her people, condemning them to a land riddled with darkness. Months passed, and through her dark magic, she became known as the Witch Queen. Every day, from high within her castle walls, the Witch Queen would look out upon her kingdom in spite. She had lost all love of the land and its people. Riders cloaked in black began to scour the countryside in search of the prince and his peasant girl. The Witch Queen had one goal, to capture her prince and condemn him to a life of darkness and despair, a life without his peasant girl. Within a fortnight, the Witch Queen's persistence paid off. The writers heard news of the prince's whereabouts. Shadowed by the darkness of night, he swept down upon the village and overtook the inn where their fugitives were staying. The prince drew his sword and cried out for his peasant girl to run, but she refused to leave his side. The prince fought back valiantly, but to no avail. The riders swiftly encircled the two. Despite the prince's attempts to keep the riders at bay, he quickly became overpowered, and with a sudden blow to the head, the world went black. The witch queen had her prince thrown into the dungeons, deep within the castle walls. He had no chance of escape. Upon his waking, the queen stood outside his cell with a twisted smile. He begged her to let the peasant girl go. He would give his life in her place. The witch queen only laughed as she told him how his peasant girl had tried to flee from the inn, how her riders overcame her in the nearby woods and showed her no mercy. His peasant girl had perished. With the prince's anguished yells berating her, she turned away eyes lit with a fiery satisfaction and left her prince in the darkness. One day, a peddler of potions entered the Witch Queen's dominion. When he arrived at the castle, the Witch Queen ordered he bring forth his most prized potion. The peddler reached within his stock and procured a slender vial filled with a glowing orange concoction. The Witch Queen inquired of its purpose, which the peddler explained. The potion would give its drinker that which they most desired. The Witch Queen summoned the peddler to bring the potion forward and upon inspecting the glass container, took the potion as her own. She ordered the peddler be sent away, but as he was pulled through the castle doors, his warning rang loud and clear. Once the potion was consumed, the witch queen's desire could not be undone, or she would pay a price. With the distracted wave of her hand, 
the Witch Queen's gaze remained on her new possession, as the peddler was drawn from the throne room. That evening, the Witch Queen paced the room in her tower, circling the pedestal on which her beloved potion now sat. She reached for the glass, picked it up, and held it high, for she knew what she most desired. The Witch Queen slowly brought the potion to her lips, and with only a moment's hesitation, she drank. This was her chance to fully extinguish her prince's happiness. She desired her prince be unable to love his peasant girl. The days passed in utter darkness, and clouds hung low across the fields. Rumors grew of the Witch Queen's prisoner and the dark magic that continued to permeate the land. Her people lost all hope. Until one day, as the Witch Queen sat high upon her throne, a guard came bursting through the doors they had caught an intruder in the dungeon. The Witch Queen's eyes narrowed in confusion, but she had only one concern. She sped toward her captive prince, but stopped short upon seeing what was before her. Her prince was standing outside the cell, but he wasn't alone. The peasant girl was still alive and had freed the prince. It took the Witch Queen only a moment before realization settled in. Upon the prince and peasant girl's reunion, their love broke through the barriers of the potion's effects. The witch queen immediately understood her folly. She could not dictate the desires of the heart, as she had proven to herself through her love for the prince. The peddler's warning flashed in her mind. She knew there was no going back. With her desire rendered powerless, she would pay the price. A glimmering orange light began to emit from her body. Her eyes searched in desperation as the light formed the shape of an orb that slowly began to engulf her. The prince shielded the peasant girl as the spear became brighter still. The witch queen's shrieks echoed against the walls. With a final blinding flash, the witch queen had vanished. The news of the Witch Queen's demise spread across the realm. The darkness lifted. The streets filled with people and the skies cleared, bringing sunlight back into the land as the kingdom celebrated. The prince and his new princess took the throne as king and queen. With their vow to never let their people fall into despair, the land was once again joyful, and they all lived happily ever after. The End